Hi again. Uh, today I'm going to take apart the uh, speedometer here, and I'll probably end up doing the tachometer also, just primarily just to clean it up. This one, let me show you here. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but uh, right here is a dead spider. And he probably crawled in through back here on the back where the uh, the lamp goes in and then came up through where the speedometer and the odometer are. But uh, I can't get him out since he's all uh, crushed. Uh, he's all dried up. I can't, he won't go through the hole anymore. So... I've had some luck taking these apart. These are all, they're not really built to take apart. But you can do it if you take your time. And uh, let's follow along here and see if I can get it done. First thing you've got is this uh, uh, little chrome piece here. And really all you got to do is just kind of get a screwdriver under there and pop that up. There. So that is pretty easy. The next step <coughs> is this plastic ring around the outside here. You've got to cut that off. And what I've done in the past is I just use a exacto knife. Just kind of get in there and once you get it, It'll go pretty good. We're kind of lucky that we've got the uh, the trim ring here because when you go back on, what we'll do is we'll glue this uh, just with some uh, general purpose adhesive, and that will uh, pretty much just keep the uh, keep it sealed up and everything. But then you can put the chrome ring on, and when you do that, you can't even tell that you've done it. Now, the next part is you've got to start prying on it. And you just try to get a screwdriver in here and start lifting it. You don't want to stick it in there too far because you'll crack that case. wanting to come. Once you can get under it, then you can just kind of roll it. Okay, now you need to take these two screws out, and the only reason we need to do that is because of this uh, trip odometer here. Suzuki glued theirs in, and there's I, it, there's more trouble than we need to go through uh, for this uh, unit here. You pull this off, and I should be able. Uh, now I want to point out. To you see the uh, the notch right here and the notch right here. 
they go right here. You've got a, a little uh, piece sticking up here that that's where it's going to go back into. And uh, you just want to keep it oriented properly. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, I'm just going to mark the bottom so I can get those and get it back where it should go. It should it should go anyway because I don't think it'll bolt up this way. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it would. So you want to pay attention to that. So you got your light in the right place. Okay, and what I'm hoping I can do is just pull this enough to get that get that spider to fall out of there. See, he's stuck up here for some reason. There he fell down. There. There he is. He came out in pieces, but he's he's out. Now you can clean up the uh, the lens here, and in this case, I don't know whether I want to go through all the trouble to. Because you just don't know whether you're going to be able to get this out without tearing it up. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not, but uh, you can see right here where they've glued this down. So, you know, you might get it out of there without breaking it. You might not. Uh, in this application, I don't think I'm going to try it. I just I wanted to get the spider out of there. And once I get it back together, then I can clean this up here. I would like to clean the inside. Um, let me let me look at it a little bit and and try to make a decision uh, how far I want to go because it you there's a lot of uh, uh, look like sweating on the inside that uh, you're not going to get out unless you get it out. All right, I went ahead and decided to give it a try, and I think I'm going to be all right. Um, what I did, you can, I think you can see that there is a uh, nut right here, and it was glued to the to the knob. And what I did was stuck a vice grip in here to hold this shaft from turning. And then I went in and loosened this. And one thing that I've discovered is that this is left-hand threads. So you've got to screw this out, the knob part, like you're tightening it. So there it is. So now we should be able to take this whole piece out. There we go. So that will allow me to touch up the uh, the orange on the needle. And I think you can see that, uh, I don't know whether it will show up in the camera or not, but this, uh, there's like sweating in here. All right, sorry about the phone. Okay. Um, like I was trying to show you in here, it looks like the uh, it had moisture in it at one time, and it tried you know it sweated, so that impression of that dried water is still in there. That's what I wanted to get out. So we'll see if we can do that, and it'll allow me again to touch up the uh, the needle and clean up the face a little bit. But it worked before we started, and it should work afterwards. Uh, one thing, just to give you a little tip, this um, this nut is about 730 seconds is what I ended up using. I've got some little ignition wrenches and that fits it pretty good. So let me see, let me see if I can get this cleaned up. I'm just going to give it a shot of uh, Windex in there and using a microfiber towel. <coughs> I. I think I would be careful with paper because it's plastic and it might scratch it. 
Looks like the worst of it is coming out. I believe that's better. And then on the outside, what we'll do is we'll buff this out. And I'll do that before I put it back together because sometimes, as you well know, um, things that appear like they're on the outside are really on the inside. So we, we don't want to do this twice. So let me, uh, let me get the uh, compound to clean that with. Okay, what I use, have used in the past is I start off with a uh, medium grit uh, rubbing compound for like paint. This is what I've got. I've had it for quite a while. Shake it up real good. And uh, just start rubbing this lens out. You're just trying to get the the scratches from 40, 45 years of being abused. And, you know, a lot of times they'll have a little overspray on them or something like that. So you're just, you're cleaning it. And it does look like I'm probably going to have some to do inside too. It shows up right away. What I usually do is I, I do this medium grit, then I'll go down to what they call a, uh, a dark foam glaze, which is this. It's just a smaller grit, and that really starts polishing it out. And then I finish it up with a plastic polish. Sometimes it helps to put a little water on that. Kind of makes your compound go a little further. Yeah, that's looking a lot better but we're going to have to concentrate on the inside, and it's a little harder to do because uh, you've got to get in there. Okay, what I did was uh, I cleaned up back here around where it goes back into the case, and I went with some very light oil, used it sparingly in all the, the little places where everything turns, and this is actually a very low mileage bike. I'm not going to change the the uh, the odometer reading at all. It was uh, 1298. That's very low miles for one of these. Kids used to ride these. I know I probably put thousands of miles on mine. And I'm going to just touch up this uh, this hand just a little bit. You can get this uh, hand paint uh, on eBay. I think this is, uh, you know, I, I rebuild a lot of Fords, so this was uh, the, the Ford color for these. But I'm sure that a lot of this uh, is very similar. And I think that uh, we've got a pretty good do on our uh, lens here. I've got this all cleaned out inside, took it in, in the house <clears throat> and rinsed it out with soap and water and uh, I'm just going to kind of hang on to it a little bit so I know there's no drips or anything coming out of it and then I'll do some final polishing on the outside when it's, uh, when it's assembled. But I think we're 
about as good as we can probably get on the inside. It's really difficult to get in there, and if you really get after it, you can stay too long in one place, and then you can put streaks in there. So be very careful about that. So I'm going to let this paint dry and let this kind of set and air dry a little bit. And then we'll see about uh, sticking it back together. Okay, I think we've got everything cleaned up and ready to go back together. Um, this just drops in here. It's going to be aligned up by the screws here and the back plate. So the only thing we really need to do in here is get this uh, trip knob put back on. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put just a dab of blue Loctite. Very much. It's a little bit more than it wanted. I can suck it off there with a Q tip. Yeah. Just so it doesn't vi vibrate out, but you want to still be able to get it apart if you if you need to. Okay, and remember it's left hand threads. Get my vice grips back on it. There she goes. Snug it up with our little wrench. Okay, so that's all, all like it ought to be. And our marks that we made before, I've got one here and one here. So that's that gets our uh, light in the right place. And you've got your two alignment tangs right here and the uh, slots for them. Before we get too far along here though, we want to get our screws started so we can get our orientation right. Now this assembly is in fact held together by uh, being installed. So it's not like it's going to come apart, but we're still going to put the glue to it. But we're going to put it on the outside so that we can get it apart again if we need to. Looks like everything's the way it ought to be. back down and be sure to put a cloth under here because you're working on the on the uh, face there and what I use is this uh, 3M it's a black super weather strip gasket adhesive type stuff and all I do is just put it along the edge here that'll seal it and it'll also keep it from coming undone. Just like that. Just kind of 
clean it up. All right. We're going to let it sit there for a while and tack up. Everything should be in working order. And the final thing will be to put this uh, this trim on. And remember, there's, I've got one washer that's stuck here, and the other one goes there. I think I'll just put a little speck of glue on that one, too, just so I don't have to go hunting for it. Set that aside while it's tacking up. And the same with the uh, speedometer there. And there shouldn't really be anything to to show. Maybe I'll maybe after I get it together I'll I'll just pop a quick picture up so you can see the end product but that's that's basically it it in a nutshell it's not too difficult the main thing is just to to uh, be sure that you uh, you don't scratch the lens when you're trying to clean it and that's you know you just do do it sparingly down in there because if you put something in there to you know like a drill or something I'm afraid you're going to uh, scratch it up because it, you can't move it around enough but it uh, it looked pretty good to me and I think it'll be acceptable and certainly a lot better than it was especially the big thing is there won't be a dead spider in it so thanks for joining me well bad news I got it together and I touched the trip odometer and it broke. All these pieces here are from the uh, um, just the threaded area of this. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I've already started here. I've, I've got a piece of uh, Delron and I'm working on it over at the lathe now. What I've got in mind here is I've already drilled a 7 30 seconds hole in the middle of it and that will uh, that gives me enough where I can thread it onto the threads there and it did thread by itself so I'm, I've already done that now what I'm going to do is turn this down so that it'll fit in the housing and then on the back side I'll have a hole the size of this and then I'll slide it down on here and epoxy it and then um, and then the uh, this is will thread into that I've already threaded it on from with the uh, new piece of Delrin so that's where we're at I really hate to to touch stuff like this I knew better but I did it and you know to be quite honest we if I hadn't done it I would have never been happy with the uh, the lens it would have always been cloudy on the inside so this is just this is just stuff that you have to go through with these old parts so you're never going to find one it's hard enough to find just a speedometer so this is what we've got to do so go along for the ride with me here and we'll get it done Okay, I think I told you wrong. This is 764 the hole that I drilled in the end here. And I'm going to turn this down just far enough. That it will go in the housing. Um, this is a pretty loose fit in here. There's a lot of room there. So 
the the other end of this, once I get it turned down to size, will be just a tight fit here so that I can slide the new piece over this piece for the uh, and epoxy it. And that should be, I'm just going to make it the length that I think it was 0.218 or something like that. That's what I'm going to make the uh, uh, the total piece will be this long, this length with 2 point or 0.218 inches added onto it. So let's get with it. There's probably several ways to get around this to do it, but. This is how I'm doing it. This Delrin really machines pretty well. It does get kind of stringy, but you just have to stop and clean it out once in a while. got it down to size uh, on that OD so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off Now this, uh, see here's the hole that I put in the, uh, this is the one that will screw on to the odometer and it's uh, 764 and this one is going to be 730 seconds I believe, yes 730 seconds and I'm only going to go in about halfway. Okay, we had to use the starter bit just to get it going. 
regular jobber bit wants to wander too much. about how far I'm going to go in. I couldn't go the size that I needed because I was going to run out of uh, plastic here. So this is a good tight fit and we'll, uh, we'll glue that in and uh, it's already threaded on this side for the left hand thread. I just screwed it onto it. So that should, that should do the trick. So we'll see. All right, all I'm going to do here is uh, kind of rough up the original part a little bit. Let me get some epoxy mixed up. All right, I'm going to use some JB Weld plastic bonder. That's a whole lot more than I needed. I'm going to put a little inside. Most of this is going to goosh out here, I'm sure of it. see if it sets up good and we'll try to put it all back together again. Okay, I think we've got it all ready to go back in now. I waited overnight on the on the knob. Um, it's all epoxied up. Um, I had to go in and I don't know what in the world happened with uh, 
with the mileage, but it uh, one of the numbers were off a little bit, so I went in and did that. And if anybody's never done it before, um, in order to access, you know, to change any of this, you've got to pull this little uh, C clip off right here, and then slide everything over, and that way you can you can get everything back in line if you need to, and then just put your uh, C clip back on. But I think we're back back ready to go here. So we've got our our uh, case here, and I've got it sitting on the glass here. on a nice soft surface so I don't scratch it anymore. And I'm going to mix up just a little bit of uh, JB Weld here just to uh, put on that screw. I don't want a lot on there. I just want enough to keep it from backing off. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just going to put a little bit on the, the screw there. That should be plenty. And again, remember this is uh, left hand threads. Oh, Got to get my nice grip on it. It was just too fragile, that, that original piece. All right. We're back on there. Things looking good this way. Everything lined up here. Yeah, we got our tang here and our slot, and the tang there with the slot. That should be it. Let's get some screws in it. Just a little bit loose until I get it snapped down in place. All right, looks looks good, I think. And this looks like it's snapped down as it should be. All right. Gonna give this a little try here before I go too far.
checks out. And push this in and I can reset my trip. So it looks like it's all good to go. So let's get our glue on. This stuff works okay, and you can get it off again like you saw me do there when we had a problem with this one. And it actually will, uh, if you leave it laying like this, the gravity will pull it down into the, the groove there. And it seals it and glues it in place. So hopefully we have better luck this time and don't have any other issues. That looks good. All right, so when it's all done, I'll give you a, a look after we get the ring on and everything. To I mean, you know, it doesn't. There's not a whole lot to that. You just drop it on there, and that's going to. Uh, uh, you you got two nuts that are hold it onto the bracket up by the handlebars, and that's really it. And then your your uh, bulb, and I'll be doing the, the tachometer also. It'll be should be a little easier because it's uh, you don't have the trip. Thanks for joining me.